Hello and welcome to Swangin. I'm Des Lorene. We have a well-known man in our region that needs no introduction on the show today. Matter of fact, I'll let him take over now. Hello, I'm Roy Pana. We have a very special show for you today as we will be showcasing the 2005 IRC Cup as well as showing you clips from hockey tournaments over the past decade. Inuvik has seen its share of hockey over the years, and ICS has been there to capture the hits, misses, grunts, and goals. We'll start the program off with a salute to the teams and communities that visit Inuvik each year to compete for the Cup. Seeing those teams and how they progressed over the years really shows you how much the game means to the people. Speaking of the people, did you get a chance to talk with anybody while you were at the tournament this year, Des? Yeah, I did. It was funny. When some people see the camera, they get shy and walk away. Uh -huh. Luckily, the tournament this year brought out so many people, it was easy to get the crowd's reactions and comments. One of the things that everyone agreed about was the NHL season lockout. Don't get me started about any of that now. We better just check out some of the fans' responses. Sounds like a plan. Are you guys fans of NHL at all? Yeah, it sucks that they're on the locker. I used to like the NHL. I kind of quit. So, I don't know, do you think that having a tournament like this kind of gives the people more something to see, something to watch? You know, for all the people that miss the NHL? Yeah, it gets everybody coming out and watching and supporting their team. Powers. David Lucas from Taktiaktak playing for B Division. Had fun, although we uh, didn't come out like we planned, but we came for fun. And it's good to see all the uh, fan support. And uh, good luck to the A team, EGT. Let's go. Oh, yes, diehard fan. Vancouver Canucks all the way. Although there's, no, although there's no NHL, but we're having the um, IRC Native Hockey Tournament, which is good. Get the, get the people back into the game, you know, and let's have fun, you know. I 
wish we could uh, have some hockey, though. But what can we do? Yeah. You know? How much of the tournament have you seen so far? I've seen a fair bit of it. And uh, who are you cheering for during this tournament? I don't really cheer for anybody. I just cheer for actually all the teams. That's good. So are you a fan of hockey yourself? Uh, you? Yes, I am. And uh, what do you think of the NHL lockout? I don't think that's a very good idea of locking out, locking out hockey. You know, that a lot of people watch the game. And uh, so I think that's... Pretty well sucks to have the lockout. My name is Jeffrey. I'm from Inuvik. And uh, what are you doing today, Jeffrey? What am I doing today? I'm watching the uh, finals hockey, RFC Cup. And uh, who are you cheering for in this tournament? I'm not cheering for anybody, but right now I think I'm going to start kneeling, leaning on uh, Polito. And uh, so, are you a fan of NHL right now? Um, yeah, I know. What do you think about the uh, season lockout? I'm, I'm glad they, they're they not uh, going to run the hockey this year because money is a big thing. And I'm Jenna Kuga. I'm from Marie-Jerie from Sacks Harbor, but I live in Inuvik. Stan from Inuvik. <laughs> what are you guys doing here today? Watching the game. Yeah, we watch some hockey. <laughs> you guys been watching the tournament? What? Um, we usually yeah. come for... Uh, well, I usually come for certain games. Teams, I guess, to watch. I was here like all day yesterday, man. Really? <laughs> so, what team are you guys cheering for? Anubic. <laughs> yeah. Who do you think is going to win the cup now? Anubic? Let's go North Wind. Yeah. <laughs> sucks, man. Yeah. Well, I don't even watch hockey, it sucks, man. <laughs> I was kind of bummed out when I found out they weren't going to have a Stanley Cup this year. Is that why you came here? Yeah, this is the only hockey I can get. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll be right back after this short break. Stay tuned to APTN. Welcome back to Swangen, our strength. Roy, you've been involved in these tournaments for a while now. And what can you tell me about the changes over the years? You know, Des, there are many things that have been changed and altered in tournaments since I've been involved. For instance, they got rid of the contact aspect of the game. There are a lot of strong rivalries between teams, and we, and we needed a way to keep the hockey clean. So, so now there's no checking of any kind. It's a really good way to ensure that the tournament has the best players playing at their best. Well, since we can't see any more hits and board checks that the tournament's coming, I don't know. Do you think we could take a look at some of the older footage we have? I don't know we should put any of these on the air desk. After all, we are... Our family so that doesn't want to endorse violence in any way. Oh well, some of these are pretty good. Roll tape. This year I played for the Inuvik Old Dogs team and we played the opening game against the Young Bloods. From the look of that game, they looked strong enough to beat any team in the bracket and win the tournament. Let's take a look at some of the highlights from our first game of the tournament against the Inuvik Young Bloods.
played well in the tournament this year. What's the difference between being on the ice compared to being behind the glass commentating the games? Well, behind the glass, I, I run a lesser chance of getting hit by a runaway puck. But when you're playing hockey with friends, you have more fun. I don't know. It's hard to say. They both have their moments. Hmm. Let's take a look at some of the action that took place this year between the Inuvik Youngbloods and the Gwich'in Flames. This game was a close one all the way to the bitter end. Pay for your country and love your woman. <laughs> So I'm going to be right ba back after this short break again. <laughs> <laughs> You're still watching APTN. Welcome back to Swangin, our strength, right here on APTN. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I think we should go back and check out more of this crowd's responses to this. Okay, ah. <laughs> I think we should go back and check out some of the crowd's responses to this year's IRC Cup. We'll be talking with some people from out of town, as well as local residents from Inuvik. What do you guys think about NHL Hockey Locker? Oh, it sucks. 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 I don't like it. It's boring. Who are you guys' favorite teams? Toronto. 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 Holy Toronto. <laughs> and uh, what are you guys doing here today? You guys playing though? Yeah. Yeah, we're playing the other team. And you're going to beat them or what? Yeah. 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 My name is Lee Barardi and I'm from Park. I'm Caroline Marina. I'm from Tech Tech Tech. And what brings you guys into town? IRC tournament. What are you guys cheering for? EGT. What do you think of the tournament so far? A lot of fun. Exciting. Close games. No injuries. No fights yet. What do you think of the strike? What do you think about the season being canceled? The what? There's not enough time to <laughs> talk about that. Well, I mean, like, you think that having a tournament like this would, you know, like, you think it helps to watch the live hockey uh, TV? Yeah, probably. Just to get the excitement back in the game, I guess. The show doesn't have to take a lot of money to get the players going. Who are you cheering for? I'm 
I'm cheering for North Wind for a new one. Um, I think that sucked because you can't watch hockey on TV no more. So, uh, where are you from? Where are my friends? I'm moving. And uh, you've, been, you've been playing in the tournament, right? Yeah. How's that been going so far? It's pretty good. It's awesome. Yeah? Yeah. So it's a pretty good competition here? Yeah, it's pretty good. Can you tell me a bit about uh, some of the experiences you had while playing in this tournament? Well, we've won the last two years, so it's, it's, pretty, it's pretty crazy. It's pretty good. Are you waiting for another one? Yeah, I'm trying for it. What's your next game? Tonight at 8 o'clock. 8 o'clock finals? Yeah, finals. Yeah. Yeah. One more game. So you guys are all in the A division then? Yeah. Can you tell me a little bit about your team? Like, who's on it and how long have you been playing for them? Well, I've been playing for them for three years. It's just all the boys, pretty much the Huskies. How do you feel about the NHL situation? Uh, it sucks. But, uh, they can't come to an agreement. They can't, whatever. It's just... I don't know, but things like this have gotten a lot bigger since the NHL has been out for sure. Everybody wants to see hockey. We had a pretty good team, a young team, fast team. Just, uh, I don't know, I don't know what happened to us this year. Well, it's kind of, the older, the older the players get, the more uh, experienced they are. So, like, the Politech team, we played had a lot of older veterans, so the D were kind of more tough to get by. They had more players. We only had, what, one, one line, so it was kind of tough. The only problem I have with it is, is some of the some of the veteran players that are in the NHL right now that are gonna have to retire without, like, without uh, you know without playing the last season and telling everyone they're gonna retire instead of just saying I'm, I'm retiring after maybe having a bad season or something. So, yeah. yeah, that's kind of screwed up too because Crosby would have been in this year too. And it's kind of screwed up. This is one of the first tournaments I'd seen, and wow. I have to say it was loud. During the final game, I saw fans waving everything from flags to pots and pans. Why don't we take a look at the final game and see what all the fuss was about? seen the final game of this year's tournament let's catch a bit of the closing ceremonies and see who took home the cup there's about 20 of them on the team and 13 of them are Rubens everywhere you look there was Rubens on the ice but that's what we like every year they come here show their good sportsmanship that's the way we like it like it done here way to go Palatine
What a wild time. I'm glad I was able to see the celebrations from right there on the ice. We'll end this week's program with a highlight reel from the Nivix Pass Tournament. I'm Roy Panna with a note to all you teams out there. Be sure to begin practicing next year for next year's tournament because it could be you holding the cup the next time. For Swangin, I'm Desiree. <laughs>